Hey, welcome to this video. And now we know that supply chain management can impact both the sales of the firm as well as the costs in the firm. How do both these actions impact profits? That's what we're going to see in this video. So, you know, just briefly to fill you in. So, the profit can improve, the sales can improve by increasing availability, maybe because of better forecasting. The products are available more on the shelf when the customers want it. Um, companies like Amazon promising two-hour deliveries, the products reach faster and consumers order more. Some other places make returns easy, so people have lesser risk and they buy more. Um, on, and on the cost side, um, the predominant idea is supply chain can reduce waste. Uh, better materials, you know, instead of using some hazardous plastic, you, you use biodegradable material, uh, we use, uh, let's say, cheaper sources, we have reduced inventory. But again, the, the whole idea is supply chain can increase sales, supply chain can reduce costs. Uh, we need to see how both of these impact profits in real life. So let's look at a real company and see how this works out for it. Right, so the real company, uh, we would need to go to Google Finance, which is finance, finance dot Google, finance, finance dot Google dot com, and there we are. Um, I'll select, let's say, General Motors. I mean, this can be done with any company, and I need the financial data. So I select financials, I need annual data, right, so annual data. So if I look at the yearly revenue 2016, the data is in millions here, millions, so 166380 millions. So I just write this number as the revenue, 166380, the cost of goods sold or the cost of revenue is 145125. 145125. This is cost of goods sold or cost of revenue. The other expenses, which is everything that comes here, here in this part, and we just have 11710. 11710. The inventory would be in the balance sheet. And if you look, there's a total inventory column here. We'll pick it up 11040 from here. 040. And the profit is nothing but revenue minus COGS minus the other expense. All right. And now to see how this works, we are going to have to make some assumptions. We say that if revenue increases by 5%, the COGS will also increase by 5% because to sell more, you need to produce more. So that, that cost will increase proportionately. The, but if you reduce your wastage, it will have no impact on sales. That's point number two. And lastly, these other expenses that we have here, 11710, we assume that those are fixed. That's like a fixed cost which won't change. Right? So with these assumptions, let's jump and directly go into this idea, so 1% increase of revenue, so the new revenue is the old revenue multiplied by 1 plus 1%, 1 so that's the new revenue here, the new COGS will also increase by 1%, so COGS multiplied by 1 plus 1%, All right? And other expense will remain exactly as it is. It doesn't change. So the new profit is equal to revenue minus COGS minus other expenses, which is 9757. Wonderful. And the increase of profit would be the new profit minus the old profit. And the increase in percentage terms would be change divided by the old profit. So we have a 2.23% increase of profits if we increase the revenue by 1%. So let me fix up some of these cells so that I can lazily copy the formulas across these columns and get the results. 
Uh, now, while I'm working for General Motors, this can be true for any company. So it need not be General Motors alone. It could be any manufacturing company or any service company. You could try this out. Right. So since I've done that, I'll copy this, paste this here, and I get these numbers. Wonderful. So what I get is seen that a six percent increase in revenue causes a 13% increase in profits. Wonderful. Now let's look at how the picture in sales or reduction of cost pans out. So the revenue remains the same. doesn't change at all. The sales costs because of reduced waste or better materials, cheaper materials, reduces by 1% is equal to this cogs multiplied by 1 minus 1%. I'm assuming you know this formula or talk to others about it. How did I get 1 minus? If this is a new cost. Other expenses remains the same. And the new profit is equal to this plus, or sorry, minus this minus other expenses. Great. Increase of profits would be that minus the new pro old profit perfect and increase in percentage would be the change of profits divided by the previous profits this is exactly same as below it's 15 percent increase the same no, I, I don't know just fix these numbers so that I can use it again but what we see here, especially for General Motors, is, is a very interesting picture where, uh, just give me a few seconds more to look at the interesting picture. Yeah, a 1% reduction in cost has a 15% increase of profits. And if I copy this across, we see that, you know, by a 10% reduction of cost, we can double, more than double our profits. Okay. This is the power of cost reduction impact of supply chain management. Right. So, just to make this picture clearer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these percentage terms in the next sheet. Control C, the final report. Um, Control pay special as values. I'm going to be here. Control C. Report. Control V. A pay special. Take care. And look at these change of numbers. 10% increase. It's just 20%. But cost reduction impacts your profit by 150%. All right. So this is the whole idea of how cost and profits could differ. Cost increase, reduction of cost and increase of sales could differently impact firm profits. This is another way of uh, reduction of inventory. So if I look, copy these numbers here. The same numbers. Copy in the inventory impact. And we say that I reduce my inventory cost. You know, we, we, the inventory cost, let's say 10% of the inventory value. So it's equal to 10% of this value. I mean, this is 10% is a rough I mean, number which um, could be debated, but we're going ahead with that assumption. So the new inventory would be. There's a five percent reduction, so the new inventory is previous inventory minus uh, multiplied by one minus five percent. The same formula we have used previously. So the new inventory cost is equal to this times uh, ten percent, so zero point one, and the cost reduction is this number minus. This number of the cost reduction and the increase changes this divided by hmm, wonderful. So we get reduced.
reducing inventory by 5%, you increase your profits. In not increasing sales, you're not reducing cost, merely reducing your inventory. And you have 58%, zero, half a percent increase in your profits. Again, you know, if I can copy this mm -hmm. fix up the cells to uh, generalize over different values, um, we will see the picture emerge. But the general suggestion here is that in different companies, um, supply chain management can have a very different impact on the profitability if you increase sales, if you reduce cost, or if you reduce inventory. But whichever ways, supply chain management can help you in amazing ways to reduce, to, to improve the profits of your company.